Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you a special tutorial on how to do a hologram effect using no plugins in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it. So welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing as this is a channel that always brings you Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, as well as gear reviews and filming tips and tricks. And recently during this quarantine and chill, my fiance was watching this show and it was a really cool effect of what they did. It was a lady who was in bed and she was on her phone and she was scrolling. However, it was more of a hologram effect of what was being seen on her phone off to the side. It was really cool. It ignited some creativity in me and I was able to replicate this effect and I wanted to make the tutorial to share with you guys. So in order to achieve this effect, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a camera, a tripod, and you're gonna need to film yourself looking through your phone, scrolling, hitting like, you know, everything that you do when you're on your phone. You're gonna need to record that. And two, you're gonna need a screen recorder. Now, I'm team iPhone, blue text bubbles all day. This is all I know. There's a screen recorder app on your phone and you would simply just hit that screen share, that screen record button, and then start recording yourself going through your Instagram feed, looking through stories, all that good jazz. If your text bubbles are green, I'm sure there's an app you can download in your app store so you can do it accordingly. Once you have those two things accomplished, let's sprinkle some magic on top of that and let's go to Final Cut Pro 10 to finish this up. First, you're gonna wanna open Final Cut and make a new project. You're gonna wanna insert the clips you filmed of you going through your phone, and you're also gonna wanna insert your screen share, your screen cap footage on top of that. As you can see right here, I filmed myself and I was scrolling and looking through my phone. We're gonna spice it up. So I'm gonna insert my IG feed that I was scrolling. First, I'm gonna wanna come over here to transform. No matter of fact, I'm gonna come over here to crop and I'm gonna fix the bottom up a little bit and then I'm gonna take the top and move right so I can chop it just about there. Now I don't want it front and center, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to transform and I wanna move it. Now you can move it here, you can move it over here. I'm gonna try right here. I'm gonna move it there, hit done and I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. Move that up. That looks cool right there. And then we're gonna come over here, click this down and we're gonna go to distort. Once you get in distort, you're gonna get this outline and you're gonna adjust these corners accordingly so you get the right look that you wanna achieve. Just all, of, all it is is playing around with it so it can get that cool looking effect. And you're going to play around with it to what looks best to you. There's no wrong way to do this. And it looks pretty awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. And to enhance this, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the mask. And we're going to do a shape mask and we're going to put that on top of it. Now, as you can see, we have to adjust this mask. So I'm going to grab these green balls. Move it in over to the curvature. I don't want it curved. Only a little bit. Feather it a little bit. Move it in. Just a little bit. That actually looks real good. And it rolls perfect. That's better. Now if you want to get fancy there's other programs out there that you can track your movement a little bit better. But I wanted to do this version without no plugins. You don't need no plugins. Um, this one I'm gonna switch it up because I was re watching my stories. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come over here to transform and I'm actually gonna put it on this side of the screen. And I'm gonna come over here again, hit distort. Shout out to all my friends on Instagram. And if you're not my friend on Instagram, go add me at Ignite Cinemas. And then we're going to add our shape mask on top of it. Once you're finished with that, add a color grade to your footage. 
and you are all good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, as well as gear reviews and filming tips and tricks, slap that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.